Uh, welcome to Cook Along this week. Unfortunately, Carrie's not with us this week, so we have the lovely Derek. Ta -da! Hello. And we have our usual whoop, two boys. Who's your names, boys? What? They are. Okay, and they'll be helping with the, the Cook Along this week. I'm just going to assist them both. I'll let Derek take it away. Okay, good afternoon. Hello, boys. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Ready for this? Yes. I'm not. <laughs> Now, before we start, okay, yeah. there's one rule you have to do first, is wash your hands. Okay. Clean your hands. Please. <laughs> and before we start this and give you all the ingredients, I just have something to say, okay? Well, this is unscripted, folks. Unscripted. <laughs> Gone rogue. This is seemingly a sweet potato burrito, which I understand wholeheartedly, and a Spanish frittata. Frittata is Italian. Frittata is Italian, and the word frittata in Italian means fry. What you're getting confused with is a Spanish omelette or a Spanish tortilla, which is done in a skillet. However, we will go with the Spanish frittata. Okay, you ready boys? Hans version. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we'll just run through the ingredients. Basically the burrito and the frittata have, has the same ingredients, but obviously they will be cooked differently. So first of all, you will have some olive oil. You will also have an onion. Or a ningen. Do you know what a ningen in an oil is? You don't. I'll tell you what. A sweet potato. This is a rather large sweet potato. We might not use all of this. Two garlic cloves. A little bit of smoked paprika. A little bit of mild chilli pepper don't want to go too spicy eggs we will require there will be 10 eggs in the frittata and I think there will be 2 eggs in the burrito you also have some spinach and one red bread pepper and some grated cheese. We're also going to do a little side salad with this as well. So, you ready boys? Yes. First Can thing say a few hellos first? Oh yes. We've got Brooke and Lachlan here. We've got... Hello. Nicola and Sienna. Hello Hi. Nicola and Sienna. We've got John. Hi John. Sarah Jane. Hi. Tanya. Good 
just peel the sweet potato. I'm not sure if Carrie would have left the skin on the sweet potato for some roughage, but however.
Good job, boy. <laughs> There's a little trick here, boys. I'm going to come around and show you, okay? For children. But not just for children, for everybody. See how you're doing this and you're chopping like this? Mm -hmm. The easy way to do it is to hold the vegetable and take the knife past the vegetable and bring it down. Like so. Okay. You got that? I'll show you. Watch. Derek, is your Korean home ec teaching starting soon? I can see it happening. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the vegetable and just bring the knife down like so. Instead of doing that, okay? That's a draw. And it's a lot safer as well. Well done. Derek's top tips, facts and tips this week, Derek. Right here. Never a dull moment, is there? No, nope, never. Like okay, learn something okay, new. Boys, right. Yeah, yeah. The next thing we're going to have to do is thinly slice an onion. Okay? So. Mum might want to chop that onion in half and give yeah. half to each yep. boy. Or each child. I'm going to feel it that's a good idea. And when it's killed, let me know. So again, Carrie's tip is to make sure you chop a bit off the onion so that it lies flat. Peel the skin off first of all. If you give it a little Now, the 
next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to chop the red pepper. Okay? Do you want to take it out and then half it and give another half to your brother? So, if you chop it in half,
your onions are doing better than my onions. <laughs>
if those want to take a couple of, ta a couple of tablespoons of all the mixture, then that will be set aside if you're making a dough. However, just follow Derek for the recipe for frittata, because if you're not doing both, it just makes it more simpler. And just a wee thing, as Lorna mentioned, having a pair of scissors to chop things is quite good, especially for children, because if you're cutting things or want something a little bit smaller, anything that's leafy, it's great to use scissors. So any hairs or any other things, it's great to use scissors. Watch your fingers now. Okay, there we go. Protein is really good for what is protein good for boys? Neurotic. 
Your body, but which part of your body? Um, your heart. Your heart, not just your heart. Strength. Strength, but what, what does strength come in your body? From your? Muscles. Muscles. Yes. So protein is really good. Um, you'll hear lots of people eating eggs, athletes, because eggs are full of protein. Really good to kind of build and repair muscle as well. So they're really important in our diet. There you go. Okay. Now, for the frittata, what we're going to do, we've lightly beaten the eggs, okay? What you need to do now is add the grated cheese that you now have. You need to add the spinach. No, 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 no. This is only for the frittata. Yeah. So remember, put some spinach aside for your burrito, and now add your spinach to your egg and cheese mixture. Yep. A little pinch of black pepper in the egg mix with the cheese and the spinach, if you wish. Okay. Now what we're going to do now for the frittata, I'm going to turn my pan down very slightly, take my mixture of onions, garlic, paprika, etc. off for a second and I'm going to pour in the mixture of the eggs cheese and spinach into the mixture. Give it a little sugar round and then we're going to leave this on the pan at a low heat until it starts to set. Now again, the difference is this, is a, a, a frittata is on a low heat, um, that's the way it's done. When you're making a Spanish omelette, you do it on high heat. But the frittata is in low heat, and you're going to cook the bottom first. It'll hopefully then cook halfway up through the middle, but we're eventually going to turn the frittata upside down. Sorry, induction kickers, you've got to, once they come off, you've got to put them back on. Alright, okay, that's nice. How high do you want it? Yeah, uh, 600. Okay, we're going to flip the frittata onto a plate, upside down, and put the upside down part back in the pan to cook the rest of it. And that's the difference between a frittata and an omelette. Does that make sense? Yes, but what I suppose the way that we know we or you, the other way that you can do it is you can cook the bottom until the egg is bubbling through the frittata. Yep. When you see the egg bubbling through the frittata, you can stick it under the grill, which will then cook the top until it's brown. And how do you know it's ready? If you press the frittata, what you can do is when it's kind of bouncy, you'll know it's ready. And then what you can do is just chop it in the pan into nice slices and then you can slice it out with a spatula. Yes. If you can't flip it. It's more fun flipping it because it's good fun. It doesn't always necessarily come out nice and flat. Sometimes the potato, it can be done, as Ruth said, and under the grill, flipped. Or sometimes if you have a skillet is the way to do it in Italy, not confusing the matter. Yes. They put the skillet in the oven and they cook the remainder of the eggs in the oven. Okay? Right. Now that we've got this frittata in the pan, what we have to do is add our sweet potatoes. Yeah. So, well, our sweet potatoes are now nice and sautéed. It's soft. Our ones are nice and soft, so we, we'll put them in. We'll put them into our. Um, our burrito, uh, our burrito mixture. We'll take these away and we'll get these all. You call the me boys. We'll go and we'll get our start in and then we'll bring it back. All right. So I'm going to take yes, come on, my sweet potatoes. Yeah. 
potato and place it on the top of the mixture of the frittata. Using a pair of tongs is the best way, it reduces any water content going into the frittata. that you should cover the frittata and cook for four or five minutes. It's not absolutely necessary because it's gently cooking through. Just make sure you do it on a low heat. You don't do it quickly because you'll burn it and it'll not be nice. Okay? I'm going to wash my hands. Okay. We'll let you finish yours first and then you'll, you'll finish ours. Uh, mine's is technically oh, yours is I'm waiting. Yes. So we can so just talk about stuff. I need a spatula. Yep. So if you have another pan in your house, what you could do is put your pan on with your vegetables and a little bit of spinach you had on the side and heat all that up together and add about a spoonful of your, about a tablespoonful of your sweet potato. Mm -hmm. There you go. So what we can talk about, the kids are going back to school next week. Woohoo! Yahoo! Sorry, as a parent, it should really be Yahoo and that. Well, some children are already back to school, but our, my two children will be going back to school next week on Monday. Are you excited, boys? Yes. Why are you excited? To see all my friends. To see all your friends. I think that's been something you've missed. Um, and when you go back to school, what are you looking forward to? To do just seeing your friends and what else? Um, and also doing art with all my friends. And doing art with your friends. Rowan, what are you looking forward to going back to school? See my pals and doing PE. Oh, see my pals and doing PE. Right. What about maths? And English? Oh, I like maths. Mm -hmm. Not so clean in English. We're not so clean in English. Well done. That's it. And so if you're doing your burrito, you should be heating up your vegetable mix with the spinach in it and just add a small amount of the sweet potato mix it all together until it's all nice and hot yep. and then the boys will show you what they're going to do with that after yes. yes how's your frittata getting on frittata is cooking slowly little tip that you need to know is take a spatula if you have one or a wooden spoon and just gently go around the edge of the frittata in the pan as if you're just teasing it down a little bit and that means it'll get a wee bit more cooked on the sides before Ruth flips this Ruth flips? <laughs> I'll, yeah I'll flip it no problem yep <laughs> that's a laugh because my flipping skills are not that great however yeah we can it will take that yeah we Unless we want to put it under a grill. I thought, funnily enough, I have the grill on. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, for, for, for those of you who have got children helping along with this, it's much easier to put the frittata under the grill and cook the rest of it rather than flip. Yes. So I think we'll go down that road. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So we're past the frittata is cooking. We're going to finish off doing the burrito. Which, Mary, are you ready? We go on if you want to add the mixture, the egg mix and the cheese into the pan. There you go. Yes. Now, with this, it's just a bit like, you want it a bit like scrambled eggs, give it a good mix. I like scrambled eggs. Yeah. And that's going to be what you're aiming for. It should turn out a little bit like scrambled <coughs> eggs with the added vegetables into it. Okay. Carrie and I often made the the burritos, which was a big hit at school for breakfast. 
Um, and it's just about tasting different things. Eggs, great thing as I mentioned before for eating, but it's also about you want your children to try and to taste things. What does mum say? You know, don't know you like it unless you try it. Try it. So again, this is just another way of adding vegetables into your uh, diet, but also your kids' diets as well. So sometimes the kids might say, well, that doesn't look great, mum, but I always encourage them to try it. Another wee tip is when you're out shopping um, and you're in you know, supermarkets, if there's things that's on offer and the kids have never tasted them before, things like um, basalis or pomegranate or um, I would think other things, mangoes, papaya. papaya. These are a number of things that you could buy. Lidl, Aldi, Happy's. And what we do is you do a little bit of a tasting session. In most of the, the programs that we run, whether it be in schools or whether it's here at the Penny Pit, well, that was before COVID and restrictions, we will always do tasting session with kids and adults. But the great thing is, you know, sometimes it might look a little bit different, but it's about, remember I mentioned before about the five textures. What are the five textures? We've got, sorry, the five, um, your five senses. We've got touch, touch smell, smell, hear, listen, taste, taste, and eye, eye, sight. So you can touch something, you can see what it feels like. Sometimes it might be a little bit crunchy, you smell it, what does it smell like? You look at it, oh it's orange. You can sniff it and then you taste it using all your senses. And essentially that's what you're doing when you're doing a tasting session. It's a great way to get to see the kids like or dislikes. And you can do a little chart at home and you can do like a, a taste of the week. And what you can say is that taste of the week, oh, sorry, I'm the real. that taste of the week, you need to keep doing that. Then you can say, we've tasted this this week, and this is what it tasted like. You can have a tick for a like, a dislike, or a not too sure. That's what we do at schools as well. Mom, this is starting to look like chicken curry. Chicken yeah. curry, well, maybe. Just to let you know that the frittata has been in the pan for four or five minutes, and it's now beginning to brown around the edges. So Ruth is now kindly going to stick it under the grill for me. Sure. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be terrible for Dottie. <laughs> right, Mom, put it under the grill. This will be another three to four minutes under the grill at a high heat and it should be ready. Fingers crossed. Now the burritos are looking superb boys. Mm -hmm. Right, then what to do is get... So what we're going to do is we've done our burrito mix. We've got our tortillas. So I just what we're going to do, just let that cook a little bit further. We're going to put the burritos the burrito mixture into the tortilla and then we're going to ask Anna because Anna who's not on camera just now loves food she loves eating things and tasting things so you're a guinea pig along with the other children so maybe if you could get me three plates you're lucky. Uh, three plates boys three plates yeah okay. three plates there you go and we're going to pop this into the has everybody managed to keep up? I know it's been a little bit confusing. Um, we're here to ask any questions if you've got any. That's your plate, Jeremy. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to show everybody, I don't know if you can see that, I'll just bring it over to the camera. Watch the side voice, let's pop. So this is the burrito mixture. Okay, we've just popped in everything exactly the same as the frittata. Okay. And we've just put our eggs and our cheese in there, mix it all together, and now we're going to add it into our tortillas. Okay, now those who have cooked over the last wee while, we've done a lot of okay, Spanish, Mexican cooking. So, you know how versatile a lot of the ingredients that we're using can be. Okay, so you just pop it in. What I would say, when you're folding a tortilla, it's almost like you fold the two ends, or it's a circle, fold two ends inside and then roll it and wrap it. Now you can have that or your children can just eat it like that. Okay? 
And so you've said that we've done a lot of Spanish and Mexican dishes. What's yes. next week's? Woo! We're going to make Singapore noodles! Woohoo! Anna, can you check under the grill just to see if that's true? The Singapore noodles oh, are yeah, my favourite. Oh, perfect. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. That looks really good. It's amazing. Do you want to come and show the camera, Derek? Can yes, we'll come and show. It's only been under the grill for two or three minutes. Yes. Yum, yum. Lightly browned on top, but your frittata should look something like this. There's a nice brown and round edge, as you can see, it's starting to cook really well. Yep. And what you can do is just put a knife into it or something else just to make sure that the egg is cooked. Yes. Sometimes it might take a little bit longer, depending on your cooker, your grill. So, what we can do, and then what we would do, we would slice it from there. So, there you go, near. That's your burrito. There you go, Anna. Laura, would you like a burrito? You can't. <laughs> then what you can do is you can have a little bit of taste of the mix. I'll sure. have a taste of the mixture. Yeah. Unfortunately, Lorna, over the last wee while, has become allergic to gluten. Oh, wow. And I suppose that that just maybe resonates with quite a lot of people who have dietary requirements. That obviously we, we do change things and, and, and there's now a great free from range from many different um, supermarkets that you can access gluten free. Mm. I know that my family in uh, West Linton, um, some of them are gluten free and cook along every week and they just um, use gluten free products. Uh, and if you're on a budget, mm -hmm. I know that gluten free products are normally a bit more expensive, but if you're on a budget, ASDA, not that we try and endorse other places, but as they do things at the same time as everyone else. Yes, exactly. Is it good? Yeah, good. Good. It really, really good. There you go, that's a little bit of your And uh, Derek, would you like, are you going to cut up your, your um, paratata? And I'm going to cut it off. We're going to chop it up, you can chop it up to ever. Just make sure if it's not quite ready, you can pop it back under the grill. Um, but it, will, it, it, it should be nice and soft. If it's a bit too soft, just and it's still a bit soggy, you can pop it back under it. It should be nice and bouncy so that when you're able to kind of chop it up into kind of, you can do it in, if it's circular, you can do it how you would cut a cake or you can do it into city, um, into slices as in square slices. It's entirely up to yourself. And bearing in mind, it can be eaten hot or cold. cold. Absolutely. Storage with everything. You know, you can pop it in frittata or omelettes or eggs or anything like that. A really great um, uh, uh, um, storing in the fridge. Put that in the bin. Now, mm. boys, how many vegetables have we got in this? Um, Count them out loud. One, two, three. Oh, we have a big have? salad for the video. What did you have? Sweet potato, let's spin it. Uh -huh. Pepper. Onion and garlic. Yeah. And all of these can be served, okay, with a side salad if you have it for it can even be had as a breakfast as well. Okay. So Derek's just gonna show us a wee slice maybe of a of his katana. If um next week we'll try to we're gonna use Chinese five spice. We know how difficult that is to get, guys. So if you've not got it, look for it now. Um Derek's just going to come over and show you a oh, little Derek, bit of the, 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 the frittata. There it is, chopped up, Delicious. ready to serve. Are we going to say bye everybody? Have you got anything else to answer to? I would just like to say thank you to the boys and Ruth for this afternoon and Carrie, I hope you're enjoying your holiday. <laughs> exactly Carrie. And we're going to say bye to Dad as well because we forgot to mention Dad at the beginning. Bye Dad! Bye everybody! Bye. Thank you! Bye! Bye! Bye!